Hello everyone. In this video, we have this nice problem. We have 4 factorial over x squared is equal to 1 over 100. And we have to find the value of x. But before we begin, as always, pause the video and try first. And if you are new here, consider subscribed and also don't forget to like this video. Thanks a lot for subscribing. Now let's get started. 4 factorial is the same as 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. And this is divided by x squared, then everything is equal to 1 over 100. Okay, 4 times 3 is 12, then 12 times 2 is 24, then 24 times 1 is still 24. So we have 24 over x squared is equal to 1 over 100. Okay, now from here we can just cross multiply. So we have x squared is equal to 24 times 100 is 2400. Okay, now since we're looking for x, let's go ahead and then take square root on the both sides. And don't forget we have plus or minus here. Now this squared will cancel the square root, so we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 2400. All right. Now we can go ahead and then simplify this further. So we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of, now 2400 is the same as 800 times 3. Okay, simplifying this further, we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of, now 800 is the same as 400 times 2, okay, then times the 3 over here. All right, so we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 400 times 2 times 3 is 6. Okay, so we have x is equal to plus or minus. Now this is the same as square root of 400 times square root of 6. So we have x is equal to plus or minus square root of 400 could also be written as 20 squared. Okay then times square root of 6. And straight away, this square will cancel the square root. So we have x is equal to plus or minus 20 root 6. Okay, so this implies that x is equal to 20 square root of 6 or x is equal to negative 20 square root of 6. Now let's go ahead and then verify this value. I'll be testing this one because if this works, then this one will definitely work, okay? So we have the equation to be 4 factorial over x squared, and this should be equal to 1 over 100, all right? Now we know that 4 factorial is 24 over, now we have x to be negative 20 square root of 6 squared, okay? So simplifying this, we have 24 over, Negative 20 squared is positive 400. Then square root of 6 squared is nothing but 6. And this is equal to 24 over 400 times 6 is 2400. Now from here we can just do cancellation for 24 goes into itself 1 and then goes into 24 1 as well. So we have 1 over 100. Okay. So it means that these values satisfy the equation. I hope you found this video useful. Please give it a thumbs up and also don't forget to subscribe to this channel. Thanks a lot for watching. See you again on the next video.